So in this video, we'd like to introduce what is a histogram. So a histogram is a graphical display of data using bars, kind of like a bar graph, actually, not quite the same as the bar graphs you probably did back when you were in elementary school or middle school. But uh, we're going to show you how to construct a histogram. They're pretty simple. Uh, so here we have an example. We have a frequency distribution that tells us information about the frequency of rainy days. So on the left-hand side, you have your classes, which tells us the number of rainy days in a month. So you can have from zero to four rainy days in a month, five to nine rainy days in a month, 10 to 14 rainy days in a month. And apparently in this particular location, you don't have more than 14 rainy days. So we don't talk about like 15 to 19 rainy days. So there are no more than 14 rainy days in a month. So it must not be a uh, super rainy location, right? All right, on the right-hand side, you, it, you see your frequency here, which tells us um, how many months you have this number of rainy days. So there are three months with only zero to four rainy days, seven months with five to nine rainy days, and only two months with 10 to 14 rainy days. So what we want to do, we want to construct a histogram for this frequency distribution. So there are a couple of ways you can construct histograms. I'm going to show you the first way. I'm going to call this the easy way. The easy way. So what you want to do, you want to create a uh, vertical axis and uh, a horizontal axis. Let me scroll up a little more so I have some space. Okay. And a horizontal axis. So along the horizontal axis, you're going to put your class is, which number of rainy days per month. So I'm going to label that. So make sure you label this. Number, NO for short, number of rainy days. Per month. Now these are the classes. Put in classes in parentheses. Okay, and on the vertical axis, you're going to put your frequency, number of months in this case. So can I, uh, I'll just write down here, number of months. If I turn my iPad sideways, it's going to flip on me. So I'm just going to write number of months like this. So these will be your frequencies. I'll write frequency in parentheses. All right, so what you want to do along the horizontal axis, you want to create um, some intervals. I'm going to create an interval. This is going to be my first interval, 0 to 4. This will be my second interval from 5 to 9, and this will be my last interval from 10 to 14. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to label inside. So this is one way where you can label inside each interval. There's another way we're going to do this later where we go by uh, something called boundaries, class boundaries. But in this method, I'm just going to use the limits. This is called the class limits method. I'll go 0 to 4. I'm going to stick it in that interval. 5 to 9 in that interval. And then 10 to 14 in that interval. So this is called using the class limits to label your your classes in the histogram. Now this method is often used when you have discrete data, discrete data. So here, the number of rainy days per month, that's discrete data, right? It's whole numbers, zero days, one day, two days, three days, four days. It's not gonna involve this. So this method is often used where you just use the class limits along the bottom of your histogram. And on the um, left-hand side, the number of months, I didn't pluralize that, did I? I'm just going to go from 0 up to 7, right? The largest number is 7, so I'm going to start here at 0. Let me go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm going to label 0, 1, 2, 3. You can scale it however you like. I'm just going up to 7 here by 1, 5, 6, 7. All right, so for the first... Um, the first class from zero to four rainy days, 
we have three months. So we're going to create a bar. Create a bar. You have three months. And for five to nine rainy days, how many months? There's seven months. So we're going to create a bar that goes up to seven. Normally, I would want to use a ruler for this and make this nice and neat, but I don't have that option on the iPad. So I'll try to be as neat as I can. Now, you don't have to shave the bars. I just like to shade. You can leave them open bars. You don't have to shave them. I open them. I mean, just don't shade them in. So either way is fine. Uh, and then we have two days. Two days of... Uh, I'm sorry, two months. Two months that have 10 to 14 rainy days. So where is that? Two is about like right here. All right, so that's one way you can do it. Um, let me show you another way that is often used. 